Hey, this is a critique of Lupita's post. Um, here's the character design, got a good looking face and baggy clothes. Um, let's take a look at the Maya file and um, look at him smoothed. And uh, yeah, the body overall is looking pretty good. Um, uh, let's kind of zoom in on the face and have some character in the face. Uh, don't um, combine these surfaces. I'm going to do mesh separate so those are separate because you know, you're going to want to um, rotate the eyeballs around later so there's no reason to combine it um, at this stage anyways but or really at all and um, let's take a look at the hands um, look at one here yeah I've got a little bit of a mess going on here and at the thumb so make sure you're looking at this in rough mode a lot. It's good to switch back and forth between the two. But in this case, um, yeah, that hand needs work. Are they both like that? They Oh, interesting. So for this, I might, you know, we can get partway there by mirroring it because this hand looks okay to me, whereas that one's messed up. Um, but yeah, you're going to want to pull this apart a bit. This is... Yes, something's gone a little messy with the, yeah, look at that extra um, edge there. And yeah, there's something sort of funny here. So yeah, you'll, you'll want to kind of clean this up a bit. Um, uh, one trick I have for these guys is scale them flat. It's gonna let me. There we go. To start with, to kind of get things back to normal a little bit, and um, you know, and then I can maybe scale it a little thicker, and and then I can start. You know, once that's back to normal a little bit, I can round the end a little bit. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, this whole little area has gone a little funny um, not sure what these various thing is so I mean the choice ends up being do you want to start over or do you want to try to clean this up um, you know, I can show you a little bit of that if I right mouse click go to edge select an edge control delete to get rid of the edge and you know maybe just start getting rid of edges that don't appear to make sense um, Oops. Oh, that was bad. But something, I don't know, funny is going on with all this. So it just, it needs a fair amount of work and it, it's, I mean, I don't know how all this happen like this but you know see if you can get rid of some edges and if it doesn't mess stuff up and then we can always add more detail in but add it back in in a more kind of see we're probably going to need that one but maybe not one two three four five so we don't want a five-sided surface there but I mean it's a little bit better now but that's all a little bit Kind of looks like this should be. Forward maybe and part of the front of this. I'm not sure what's going on here, to be honest. It's sometimes hard sort of pulling this stuff apart, but um, it kind of looks like that was meant to be the some part of the front. But this guy, this is weird. Um, not sure what's happening there, but anyways, you know, that's maybe a little bit better, but yeah, you can want to kind of keep working on that and clean it up, um, to, um, you know, we can re-mirror him to fix this, whoops, this hand situation with this pointy thing sticking out and get the thumbs to be the same, so you don't have to do it twice on both sides. Um, before I do that, let's take a look at the face. And yeah, it looks very good in the smooth mode, but in the rough mode, we can see there's some issues. And what you really want to do is 
not have um, you know not, not pull things to such extremes where they're they're um, you know have overlapping faces so um, so I mean I can work on one side now that I've just worked on one side probably would have been better to turn mirroring on but I didn't do it um, So, yeah, I mean, you can see in the smooth why you've done what you've done, but as soon as you go to rough mode, you can see it's, you know, at the set this really extreme, and you're going to want to avoid that. It's going to cause you trouble later. Yeah, so not exactly the same shape, but if you need additional shape, you know, that you can't, it, it still looks okay, but you can always add edge loops and so forth if you need more. You know more detail. Whoops, sorry. Um, ooh, that's what's going on there. Um, somehow you got this little dense patch in here. Um, you might want to. It's actually very strange because. Not sure what the deal is with that. Anyways, you know, look for any extremes on the face where you're. Um, um you know really pointy really creased stuff in the rough mode you know like these two um curves are too close together so i would try to pull those apart a little bit um one kind of cool trick is if you use the modeling toolkit you can um turn on um, transform constraint and turn on surface slide and then when I move these it'll try to keep the same same shape of the surface hey surface oh there we go I just had to turn on the move in here in the so see how that sort of even though I'm putting that arrow is kind of staying on the shape of the surface and um, but I can turn that back off and then touch this up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, might want to move those down a bit too. Anyways, yeah, and look, oh, and look, look at this guy, how that's sort of really creating that very pinched thing there. So, anyways, the point is go through it and look for those very pinched, very stretched areas and try to even out the topology a little bit. I mean, Oh yeah, a little problem area, whoops, right here, um, yeah, oh, I guess we want to pull this one out, oh, that's a little, something sort of funny, I think you, kind of looks like you may have extruded an edge there, is that right? Hmm, very odd looking face here. And I just put a hole in it. Yeah, it's just, sometimes it's hard to untangle this sort of stuff. Um, I'm not sure what happened here again, but you get to. Sometimes you can look from the inside and get a sense of what's going on. Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like there's a face sort of intersecting that other face. But it's, it's yeah, it's really weird. But when I, when I delete, it puts a hole on the surface, which is not good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, what we could try is maybe merge a couple vertices and see what we end up with here. Uh, edit mesh. Um, Merge components to center. That seemed to kind of clean that up. Um, so yeah, kind of go through and look for these tighter pinched areas and more stretched out areas and try to kind of clean them up and adjust the topology. If you want to mirror it again, um, just the face and carefully select um, half the surface and get in there and double check your work. Yeah, I can see I'm going to control shift select to add to my selection and I can see I get that like so 
Okay, it's looking pretty good. Um, and then delete that half. Okay, that looks good. Check that everything's on the center line. Ah, see around the neck there? That's not along the center line. And here. Uh, good trick for that is double click along here. Oh no, it's not selecting the loop. Oh, it is. It is selecting the loop. Okay, and I have this axis selected. So I'm going to go in the front view again and hold down X. And uh, do you see how it all snapped to that center line? Ah, oh, it's not doing these. I can also, um, let me try this, a control shift right mouse, sorry, control right mouse and go to vertices, to vertices. And let's see if I snap those. It's not one. So what I can also do is while I'm in move mode, I can um, make sure this is set to absolute transform and type in zero and that'll flatten it out. So that should work too. That's a better way to do it. Okay, so you know he's right along the center. We fix some stuff on this side of his body. Um, I'm gonna try to mirror. Sometimes the mirror I find can mess up the mouth. So let's just double check that. So if we use um, edit mesh, sorry, mesh mirror geometry options, merge with the original merge vertices, um, the direction, so this is the red arrow, that's X, so that's positive X, but this is negative X, it's the opposite, so negative X, mirror, double check, yeah, see it does that weird thing to the face, I'm not exactly sure how to prevent that, um, um, so another approach is to um, just do it manually, so make sure the pivot point is in the at the origin and we'll do uh, control D for duplicate and uh, this is the X direction so X scale is going to be minus one and select both mesh combine and select all the verts and edit mesh merge components and this is the minimum distance they can be apart, which is very close, and merged. That should merge all those. So, and now you can see that, uh, you know, the fixes I've done on one hand are also on the other, and the face is symmetrical, etc. Um, so yeah, overall good work. A few things you can improve and fix, um, but uh, yeah, coming along nicely.